In fact, the sun is coming out. Perfect timing because Gary Arnoldi wants to show off his car to us. And isn't it a beauty? Check it out. 1981, is that right, Gary? Right. Gary's from Green Bay, and this is his green car. What makes it green? Well, it's fully electric. uses no gas at all. So instead of filling her up, you plug her in. Let's talk about that. How does that work? Well, it's got 18 golf cart batteries in it. It takes okay. about six to eight hours to charge, and it runs about 40 miles on a charge. Wow. And you've been driving this for how long? Uh, about six years. Now, you can't run out and buy a car like this. Talk about how this came to be. It wasn't well, originally electric. No, this is a stock car right off the showroom floor, a 1981 Ford Escort. And the government was funding a program in the 80s, Department of Energy, for an electric vehicle demonstration project where they hired electronic engineering firms to buy cars, take off the gasoline engine, and put on an electric with the batteries and all the control systems required. So what's the verdict? What, what do, you, do you like having this and how does it work with you going to work in this car? It works great. It's easier to drive. It's a little heavy because it has old-fashioned lead-acid batteries. Yeah, I don't know if you can see that through the window and there are all the batteries in there. Let's take another look. So it drives a little differently than our, our new cars today. Yes, it's very heavy because of the batteries. They weigh 1,100 pounds. Wow. Now you're going to be part of the Green Parade. Right. It's the third Green Parade in the Broadway District in Green Bay. It's this Saturday. And um, you're going to be in it for the third time. Uh, t talk about your, your role in the parade. Why do you do it? Well, the, do the parade for the same reason I got the car. Not so much for practicality, but fun, challenge, and also just to get uh, some exposure for electric vehicles. It's very green. It's better than uh, burning up gas. There is another way. Do you expect to be driving it for quite a while? As long as it holds up. Yeah. What about at work? Do you plug it in at work? Well, at work, at uh, Wisconsin Converting, where I work, they gave me a sign that says electric vehicle parking only with an outlet there. So I plug it in at work, and it costs me nothing to drive it. And nobody takes your space? Nobody. <laughs> I love it. Hey, let's tell you about the Green Parade. It is this Saturday. It starts at 11. It goes through the Broadway District. Lots of different floats. Uh, bicycles. Um, people, people build their own floats, don't they? Mm -hmm. They don't all have electric cars. There's so many different ways that they, uh, people in our community want to teach you about uh, the earth and the environment. And it's followed this year by an eco block party, an eco fair, lots of vendors, lots of live music. And you'll find that next to the Neville Public Museum. I'll be down there judging the floats. Are, can I judge your float? You can judge it. It's going to be part of that? Yes. Okay. Well, I'll save a special place for you, Gary. Gary Arnoldi and his electric car. Thanks for stopping by and showing it to us. You're welcome. I'll see you on Saturday. I think the mayor's joining me too, so I'm not the only judge.